Hey guys, welcome back to Growing at the Beach. Uh, today we're doing an update on our two in blue mats versus our two in AC Infinity auto pots, auto water pots. This is our auto watering showdown. So yeah, guys, uh, we're moving along here. This is day 32 here. This is the, the tent that we have the blue mats in. Uh, we got two plants in here, both in seven gallons uh, fabric pots. And these are the cherry pot pie plants from Elevate Seed Co. Uh, these things are blowing up. Uh, I feel like this is definitely the most solid plants I've had at this point in a run. You know, we're, this is, like I said, this is day 32. So we're about in the middle of week five right here. And it's just bulking up so perfect. Uh, everything's filling in really nicely. I don't have a lot of spacing between buds, which is really awesome. That's definitely something I struggle with. I mean, you can see it right there. There is a bit, but at the top of the colas uh, is where I'm more focused on trying to not have spacing between buds. So yeah, everything's looking amazing. And these things are super frosty. You know, we weren't getting a smell off of these cherry pot pies here uh, uh, the last couple of weeks, but just a few days ago, I was able to get a smell off of them. And it's very, very, very close to the other tent where we're running the banana cream pie. You guys look at that right there, that little piece right there, that little green piece that was on top of that bud we were just looking at. I feel like that might be a seed. I had one plant go herm in this tent and I cut the whole branch off of that plant. And uh, I thought I got rid of everything, but I'm pretty sure we'll have some seeds um, in one or two of these plants. I don't think it'll be fully seeded or anything like that. And I'm okay with one or two seeds. That's really not a big deal to me. So moving on to day 33 here, um, you know, like I said, this is the middle of, uh, to the end of week five and uh, we're just coasting, you know, the plants are drinking probably a half gallon to three quarters of a gallon per day. I'd say probably closer to a half gallon. And uh, yeah, it's just making it super easy. I got a five gallon res and I, I, I did try to push it to see how many days I could get out of the res. And what I found is four days, no problem. The fifth day, uh, probably before the full five day mark, you would run out of water in a five gallon res. So what I would tell you guys is don't worry about buying a huge res if you're only feeding two plants. A five gallon res is gonna work great for you and it'll get you that four or five days. And um, yeah, everything's just looking easy peasy. Uh, all I'm doing basically is opening the tent every day and looking at the plants and being like, wow, <laughs> this is so freaking easy. Uh, this is way better than hand watering, no doubt about it. We're just sliding into day 34 here, guys. Um, just a heads up, uh, also, you know, it is 420 month. Elevate Seed Co. is having a 25% off of their entire website. So uh, cruise over to elevateseedcompany.com, grab yourself some genetics. You know, this is the 420 month, so we're all trying to cop everything that we've been wanting all year with a good discount. Uh, I've been seeing 25 to 30% off all the hardware uh, as well as genetics all over. So it's fantastic. Definitely the time to get what you need for the whole year is this month. And um, there's that stupid seed again. Pretty darn sure that's what that is. And uh, like I said, not too big of a deal. We're getting some really pretty colors on these as well. Um, you know, my temps haven't really gone above 81. And my low temps uh, during the day, probably like 76, um, 77, something like that. So no big deals. What I am shocked about is the amount of trichomes on the fan leaves. Um, I haven't really seen that with too many genetics I've grown in the past. The only trichomes we get usually are on the small leaves or on the flowers themselves. But with both of these tents, I'm getting tons of trichomes. Um, I'm pretty sure that has to do with the fact that they are both white truffle crosses. So yeah, here we are, day 32 in the AC Infinity water pot tent. Um, as you can see, things have filled out. You know, I, I recall, uh, if you recall, couple weeks back I was a little worried about the how thin the bud structures were on these two plants but they are slowly thickening up um, I, I really should have topped I really should have lollipop these all the way up to like the second or third node 
a little too late to do that at this point, but you can see she's just a really pretty plant and the thickness of the trichomes on the larger fan leaves is like nothing I've seen. Uh, pretty amazing. And like I told you, the smell we're getting from the cherry pot pies is very similar to what we're getting off of these two plants here. These are banana cream cake crossed with jealousy, crossed with white truffle. And although the smells are very similar to the to the cherry pot pie tent, it is much more extreme in this tent. I mean, you can smell it as soon as you open the tent. Uh, super, super, super sticky trichomes uh, when you touch the lower buds. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. Definitely no Hermes in this tent. You know, guys, from beginning to end, this whole run has really been just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you know, having to push the veg stage for another 30 days in order to get rid of the thrip issue that we had, and then flipping into flower only to see that I got a Herm uh, from my own my own fault. Um, I got light into that tent, and uh, and then that Herm appears to have seeded the plant next to it a little bit. But luckily this tent um, with the white truffle plants, everything seems to be going smoothly, um, knock on wood. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been really stoked. And you know, I think I told you guys before, this might be my last time, look at the beautiful color on that. This might be my last time using the AC Infinity watering pots. And I, again, I don't have any really awful things to say about them. They're just not, I mean, you see the plants look good here, but compared to the other tent where everything is praying, I just haven't gotten that out of this tent at all. Um, also bud density, the last time uh, with the AC Infinity pots, it just wasn't anywhere near as what it is with the blue mat system, uh, which just seems to plump the flowers a lot more than these AC Infinity water pots. Now, again, price is an issue for everyone. You know, these pots for like 60 bucks, you get four of them. So if you don't have a lot of cash and you need something you know, to water your plants. If you go out of town for three or four days, these are definitely the way to go uh, if you're on a budget. But if you want a really good auto watering system, I highly recommend putting all of your eggs into the Blue Mott's basket. Um, you know, you can get different sized reservoirs. What I love about it is you get a six carat set to start and you don't have to set it all up at once. You know, you can, you can two plants here, two plants there. Um, I've even run the blue mats through multiple tents. I ran it through this two by four out into a two by two where I was also running four fo or four auto flowers. So I do love the fact that you can configure the blue mats in so many different ways. And uh, oh, one thing I'll tell you guys about the blue mats, which is what I messed up on originally when I ran it last time uh, a couple runs ago, what is that when it comes to setting the blue mat carrot, they tell you to, you know, set it to where you get the hanging drip. So this is something to consider. The hanging drip is gonna give you the maximum amount of water to water your plant. If you go back one triangle, that's gonna give you the medium amount of water. And if you go back two triangles, which is what they recommend you do, that's gonna give you the minimum amount of water that the system will water your plants with. So with that knowledge, uh, I got that knowledge from actually calling Sustainable Gardens and, and talking to someone, talking to the tech guy, and that was a really good way to explain it to me. So what I did is I only went back one triangle after the hanging drip in order to have that kind of just middle of the road watering. So that's it, uh, guys, for the Auto Water Showdown. We'll be back next week. This plant right here is the Irie Genetics Afterglow. I grew this plant last time with the AC Infinity watering pots. It only yielded an ounce but it was the best tasting ounce I've ever gotten. I upped the pot size to a seven gallon and we got a blue mat in it this time. And I'm really excited to get this thing uh, going into the week three of flower here and get a much bigger yield. And guys, today we're gonna leave you with a close up of the cherry pop pie and the banana cream cake. Peace out, groomies.